Hey, welcome back. There are so many amazing uh, tips and tricks in iOS 16. I, I keep on finding new ones every single day. For example, you can add text here. You can switch your wallpaper uh, like this. So I'm going to share in this video, share with you seven very hidden and not many people know about these tricks inside iOS 16 in this video. So before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. So first one is actually really a uh, simple one, and a lot of people might actually know this, but if you go to your contacts app, a really cool thing is your contacts app can now detect the duplicate. So look at this, so you can view the duplicate, and then if you want, you can, you can review these, obviously, first of all, and then you can merge these or ignore it. So that's our number one, not many people. So if you have, if you're like me and you have tons and tons of contacts, guess what? <laughs> you will be able to uh, merge those and really kind of save space. Tip number two, if you go to Safari and let's say uh, you search for something. So here's an article on, on Safari. So let's say I want to um, search for like training word. So you, you can click on that. And then let me make sure. And then you can click on find selection. And basically look at this. So there are 20 other instances of training on this page. So, and then you can go up and down. So this is kind of like a Word document where you can control F, find, and then go through the, the text selection. Super, super easy. By the way, this will also work. This is Safari, but this will also work in your notes. So you can easily, go through this um, and then you can also find with the whole words or the, the match case. So super, super awesome addition in iOS 16. Now let's talk about tip number three. If you go to your settings and then let's go to general software update. Now this is really interesting. If you go to automatic update, so maybe you do not want to update your iOS, right? But you, here's another option, a uh, newer new option from Apple you can update, you can automatically install the security fixes. So if you do not wanna get the new updates, the betas, and just wait for the final release uh, on iOS, so you can turn this off, The but then you can opt into the security updates, which can really help you uh, maintain your privacy security on your iPhone. So really, really cool addition from Apple. Now, the next tip is number four. If you go to your Photos app, so here's a really interesting, so here's a Photos app I have opened. You can add this to Quick Note. So click on here and then scroll down and you're gonna see an option called Add to Quick Note. So if you do it, the photo will be added to the Quick Note. So really, really interesting uh, addition. And then you can quickly, sometimes you have um, photos that you wanna use inside your note. So this is how you can do it. Next, number five, we're gonna go to the Files app. Now, Files app has some really neat uh, additions in iOS 16. The one I want to talk about here is if you click on the view on the top and then uh, view options and then right here, show all extensions. So click on that and now you can see file extensions. So I'm sure you can see it, PDF, MP4, PNG, PNG, MP4. So another really amazing addition uh, from iPhone or iOS uh, by Apple. Another thing you can do files app number, let's talk about number six. When you tap and hold on the, the file and then based on the file type, you're gonna have some quick actions. So for example, I can do a markup. I can also optimize file size. Uh, and then based on your file type, these quick actions will be different. So if I do it on a video, so look at this, I can trim it, I can rotate uh, left and right. So Quick Actions menu has some really cool features uh, inside. Now, let's talk about number seven, and this might be one of my favorite ones. So go back to the uh, Photos app, and here's the photo that I have, right? So let's make some edits to this photo. So I'm gonna, uh, let's say exposure, reduce it a little bit, so you see how it kind of, the color changes, let's save it. But here's the cool thing, I can copy these edits. Now these edits, I can apply to pictures, but also to video. So here's a video, now watch what happens. So edit, and then I'm gonna say paste edit, and watch how the, the video changes. Look at that, it just kind of dimmed, and then now it's 
uh, saving the video. And obviously for the sake of the, this video, I kind of created simple edits, but you can also create like really, really complicated ones. Um, now the uh, number eight trick I wanna share with you, if you notice on my home screen, so right here, I have a text that's really neat and cool, right? So one life, let's live it up. <laughs> so how do you add text like this? Um, so what you're gonna do is I'm using a widget, which is a very simple widget. So let me show you the name of the widget. The widget is called lock screen one right here. So that's the widget I'm using. Uh, down, so go to the app store, download that, and then whatever you write uh, here. So let's just dream big. And I'm just going to say always. And then you have to kind of close the app. And then when you go back here, look at this, it updated. So you can create like a really uh, interesting text, custom text on your iPhone lock screen. Very handy feature. So if you have any questions about these, let me know in the, the comments below. And I know I get questions about my home screen design a lot. Like how do you get this uh, widget or this circular thing on your home screen because this is kind of like boring. Everyone has this. This is cool. So I'm going to put a video on the screen. Go watch this video if you want to customize your home screen like this. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.